Hello everybody and welcome to another episode of Bungle Collects. Got two pounds for you. In this hunt, we're gonna go through 500 pounds worth of two pounds, hoping that Walter can do the business again. Our new lucky mascot, Walter, who has overseen some fantastic finds over the last uh, few episodes. This is a bit of an interesting bag. I bought it, uh, bought it. Last well, one, I did technically buy it. Where's the, oh, have I lost the label off it? Oh, there it is, hang on. <laughs> Here it is. Is it there? There we go. So I got this at the same time as two bags of 50 pences from the bank and they were all tied together and it's had this pinned on to have this note about basically get your change order in on Saturday before 2 p.m. on the Sunday. Mm -hmm. uh, and then when I got it home, I realized the bag was ripped. So I don't know what's happened there, whether because they were all tied together and really heavy, whether all the weight's weighed down, but it looks kind of cut mm -hmm, rather than rather than rip, ripped there, look, kind yeah. of at that point. But this bit looks as though it's been, yeah, it's been cut open. So I don't know what's going on uh, in here. I can tell you it is from the Nat West Bishopsgate Leicester Foz, Fozzy, Fozzy, Fozzy Park. Um, five hundred pound from the. No, it's it's to Nat West. Oh. From Leicester Foz Park. All right. Okay. So from there, five hundred pound. It was the twenty third of December last year. So mm -hmm. just uh, so twenty two or yeah twenty third. So interesting. So I'm not really know what's going on here. Let's see what we've got. At least we don't need to blunt our scissors on the, on this one, maybe, and that's for sure. So we're gonna go through and see what we, oh, oh some of them are, some yes, of them are sealed. sealed. All right, oh, we'll, we'll save the seals for last then. We'll do the rolly over bags first, yeah? So pull the, pull the seal one, that one, two, three. Well, count, actually count all the bags yeah. here, because you could have, okay, could have been diddled here. Right, that's not. Oh, what you got? One, two, three, four. Four seal bags. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four. Ah, right, so at least they're all there. That's something then. So yeah, that's. So I wonder then. I wonder if someone has ripped it open to put Maybe different coins in. Off, but it wouldn't have been sealed. If it wasn't made up, it wouldn't have been sealed, would it? Yeah, that's true. Oh, well, there's a, mm -hmm. a start. So there's a Florence Nightingale. Maybe someone's been through it, rumbled it, and uh, put some seal bags in as a thank you. <laughs> I don't mm -hmm. know. There's Trinity Lighthouse. Quite low mintage as far as two pounds goes, value-wise. Pretty much face back. Um, that Trinity House and the, and the Florence Nightingale. You might go a little bit more for a Trinity House if it's in nice condition. But it's not particularly sought after, I don't think. You can look for rotation errors on these technologies, so you give them a spin around and see whether they've been flipped the wrong way. But we're not. Lady M is tired. Abolition of a slave trade. That was the Charles Dickens that's just gone through there. So Lady M's tired. We've just filmed a 50p hunt, the one that went up on Tuesday. And before that, we did a members only live stream. So Lady M's pretty tired. So we're not going to look for rotation errors. We're just looking for anything with a picture on or a Britannia, of course. There is St. Paul's. No £2 hunt is complete without St. Paul's. The most common commemorative £2 coin yeah, yeah. in circulation. And the active union is not far behind it in terms of being common. Could be a commemorative if you've got two pound written there. Could be another Charles Dickens, could be a um, Kitchener. It is a Kitchener, there he is. He's face, uh, he's face value as well. Put that one there, eh? Another St. Paul's coming up. Album wise, so we have got a we have got a coin album I'm trying to find every circulating two pound coin. And we've had we've been trying to fill it for that long that we just I haven't even bothered getting it out of the cupboard. Because mm. we've needed Commonwealth Games Wales and then a Navy Centenary, the one with the ship on, with a little error on the flag for so long. That's the yeah, barely it's barely worth even getting them out now. But we live in hope. There's another St. Paul's. Of course, as soon as we fill it, what will we do, Lady M? Probably start again. We'll just start again. There's another St. Paul's. There's another Charles Dickens. I'm 
I'm thinking, I was just thinking, I hope no one in the bank's gone through it, but then if they had gone through it, they wouldn't have put seal bags back, would they? They'd have just put, they'd have just put rolling over bags back in, surely. So here's another commemorative. It's another Charles Dickens. A golden guinea. That's probably the plum find of the hunt so far. Maybe three pound worth. worth. And what's, a, what's a guinea, Lady M? It's a splendid thing. It is a splendid thing. That's the edge inscription around the outside of the guinea. There's another St. Paul's. All the two pounds have got an edge inscription around the outside. Well, all the ones that are minted in the UK anyway. Which in the, all refer to or relate to the picture on the reverse of the coin. So there's the Act of Union, for example. Like a jigsaw and around the outside it says united into one kingdom and that is commemorating 300 years of Scotland and England becoming a union I assume it was the union of probably just came Great Britain did it I'm sure that it's England and Scotland were Great Britain okay. there's another abolition of the slave trade Lady M's on her last Roll over bag, as am I. Nothing too spectacular. We'll be pinning our hopes on the seal bags, I think. Yep, I'm finishing on a bust. Mm -hmm. Right, four bags, Lady M. Picky two, picky two, picky two. <laughs> I'll just open it up for you. Mm -hmm. oh, no tears in, no tears. To just rip it open like the rock hard northerners that we are. Mm -hmm. Right, come on. Got a nice Commonwealth Games. No, just another St. Paul's and another abolition of the slave trade. Another flag Final bag for me. Another flag Oh, there eight. Oh, ah, well, uh, I oh, think I've, I've just I've just topped you there, Lady M. Lots of uh, Charles Darwin. It's in nice condition, that. It it's very shiny. So, seal bags are coming up trumps. There is a arches of the Brunel. And this, unless Lady M has a, a stoking find, this is going to be the plum. The Great Fire of London. Just over one and a half million minted. A lot of people's favourite coin. Lovely design. Same, desi same designer as the Isaac Newton, that one. Aaron West. Finishing on a bust, yeah. And Lady M finishes on a bust. That's it. Uh, I tell you what, mind you, that is really shiny. That. Yeah. I'll uh, I'll definitely be keeping that. It doesn't look like it's been. It doesn't. I mean, you can see the you can yeah, see it's been circulated, been, but, but uh, it's in nice condition. That which yes. we're which wears the writing. Origin of the species, so it's that way up. So I'm gonna I'm gonna swap that out for my album, and put that on my album. I think. Yeah. So I think yeah, so we're, I, th I think we're all done, aren't we? That's yeah, the plum. Definitely. I don't think there's any real honor honorary mentions other than this no. this Darwin, me and laughter on a coin, and um, and maybe it's the Trinity House. Mm -hmm. So let's. I think I'm gonna I'm gonna put this in the thumbnail. I'm gonna make this the thumbnail. Okay. So Walter, you're done all right. Yeah. You can't fall off with it with a great fire in London, right? I'm gonna I'm gonna put that right up there, nice and big, for the thumbnail and smile. How long are you going to smile for? Don't you tell me to stop. Do goofy faces. <laughs> what an idiot. <laughs> right, we're all done. Thank you very much for watching. And we'll see you in the next episode.